Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the six. Yeah, the six. So, this is for somebody. I don't know who may or may not be you. A lot of times, these readings, they don't even resonate with me. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Keep that in mind. Timing is fluid. Remember that. April 6, what do we got? What's the message for today? The full moon, or the new moon. The new. This is the new moon today. Feels like a full moon, though, don't it? <laughs> it's pretty intense. It really is. So, um, hmm. What do we got for the six? Coming out of hiding or coming out of darkness. It's like coming out of a dark period, okay? So that's good. That is good. Hmm. Hmm. Death reversed. Interesting. Somebody's holding on to something still? Come on now. Four of Cups. A five on each end. Conflict. You know, somebody is dealing with their inner conflicts, dealing with their power struggles right now, but it looks like they're starting to see or feel some relief. But just starting. <laughs> because there's still some discontent here. There's still somebody that's trying to make a decision. They're still, still trying to decide whether they want love or they want this partnership or what they want to do. They may be still bleeding from some sort of ending, that some sort of completion. They may not have been be completely healed. You know, they're still holding on to a to an ending of some sort, and it's getting old. It is getting old. I think we have somebody here that is getting sick of waiting, or they're, you know, they're really thinking about giving up on a situation. They haven't quite given up on it yet for some reason. They're waste. This is like wasting time. They should be getting prepared. Maybe they, that's their way of getting prepared, right? Um, there's a major life change on the horizon and this so this therefore is a major choice so we have a, a, a major choice here as to whether they're ready to let go and, and begin again you know or not um, hmm. king of cups reversed somebody's gone cold emotionally withdrawn right we have somebody here that is not mastering their emotions too well, or maybe they are. They're just keeping quiet. I think we have somebody here that is withdrawing to go within to figure out their forward path. You know, they're doing what they got to do. King of Pentacles. Interesting. Ooh. Let me make sure this is focused in. Well... Yeah, we have somebody that's planning. We have a planner here. Somebody that's really planning. Somebody that is really trying to be practical here. We have somebody here that is... Really, really thinking. I mean, going within. Definitely going within. In regards to their wish fulfillment. This is a blessing. The star is a blessing. You know, with endings, you know, this is a, something has ended perhaps. And somebody's holding on to this ending, but there's a blessing waiting. This is a blessing. This is a true blessing, the star. So I feel like we have a blessing or a gift or something that is coming out of this completion. But somebody, they may not see it or they may not, not be able to take it for some reason um, this is a card of hope knight of cups and three of swords reversed which is good somebody's starting to let go of the past hurts they're releasing somebody's in the process of releasing I feel like they're in the process of of uh,
well, they're starting to feel better. Somebody is starting to feel better. It's like the tension is starting to dissipate or the the conflict, the inner conflict, it's starting to fade. Something is starting to fade. I feel as though the pain that they have endured, you know, is starting to not, it's starting to not hurt as much, okay? It's starting to, it's not hurting as much as it did. There's still some pain there, though. There is, there is. And so I think that this is a renewed hope. There's a renewed hope that, you know, they can have a relationship. This is the Knight of Cups. There's, there's hope that you know, the Knight of Cups is an offer of love. Relationship. So maybe they they have this, and this, if he's looking down here, I think that we have somebody that has an offer. Somebody that has an offer. They have an offer of love from somebody. And they're thinking about taking it. They're thinking about taking it. But they're, like I said earlier, they're still bleeding from the pain. But it's like they're, it's almost like it's almost, they're almost done. They're almost done bleeding, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. I feel like somebody has received some sort of blessing. Perhaps this offer is a blessing, you know wish fulfillment this is an opportunity for wish fulfillment but you know there's a, a need to or a desire to you know almost like step back push away you know what I mean it's not like a desire it's like a it's a need it's a need to need space perhaps somebody is needing their space to contemplate um, So I think somebody is about to make a, a major life change. And this is a major life choice. It is. It is. This is major. Fives are about changes. They are unexpected changes. I feel like somebody's had an unexpected offer, perhaps. You know, and they're still a little bit tied to a dead end. They're a little bit tied to something that has ended. But this is a dream come true. This is a dream come true. And I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to make the wisest decision in regards to, you know, accepting this offer or not. So I feel like we have somebody that kind of wants it. I kind of want this opportunity. I want it. But what kind of conflict will it bring into my life if I take it? Um <laughs> Somebody hasn't been seeing the opportunities, but I think they're being enlightened. Yep, and a decision is being made. I think a, a final decision is being made. Somebody's in the process of making a decision. It's a difficult decision in regards to what is going to bring balance to their life, what is going to bring imbalance to their life. You know, what is the right thing to do? What is the wrong thing to do? I mean, we have somebody here that is trying to make that decision. What should I do? And I feel like, you know, getting what you deserve is part of the equation. You know, somebody is realizing, I think, that, you know, I deserve this. I deserve this wish fulfillment. I think they've come to that conclusion that they deserve this wish fulfillment. But... Whew, they're going to have to take a lead. They're going to have to take the lead. So I feel like we have somebody here that is absolutely in the process of making a decision, a serious decision. And I feel like whoever this person is, they are trying to consider everybody involved, right? And that's what's part, that's a big factor in their decision, you know, because this does involve keeping, you know, everything balanced and structured and organized. You know, it's like there's an opportunity for love here. I feel like somebody is receiving an offer or they're giving an offer of love, okay? And the thing is, is that they're trying to keep everything under control. Somebody is trying to make sure that there's no <clears throat> upheaval by this decision that they make. So I feel like we have somebody here that is trying to protect, definitely trying to protect everybody involved, but they have this wish this is a wish 
we have this as a wish. This is a wish. There, somebody has received the answer to their prayers. This is what you deserve. This is what you deserve. I don't know who this reading is for, but somebody, you know, this is what you deserve. We have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio over here. But this one's in reversed. So it's like this one may not have loved, may not have, whoever this person is, they may not have known how to love or they may not have been available to love. So I feel like that's where, where we have this issue is <coughs> there's an opportunity for love here. And it's what somebody deserves, but they may feel like they can't accept it or they're not good enough or something like that. The emperor takes takes charge. The emperor is the boss. So we have somebody here that I feel is about to go after their wish fulfillment or at least he's thinking about it, right? He's thinking about going after this gift, whatever it is. This is a protector. This is a protector. He's trying to protect everybody, whoever this person is. He's making a decision. This guy is, ma this person is making a final decision. He's in the process of making a serious decision. It's a heavy one, too. But I have to remind you, endings bring new beginnings. Oh, God. Ten of Swords is the end of a difficult time. Somebody has been really, really, has been through something very traumatic. But the worst is over. You know, that, that cycle is, is, is completed. So it feels as though, you know, somebody has been through a, some sort of serious crisis in their life, but it's over. It's the end. It's that, that period is over. I feel like somebody is... It's almost like they're, they're, they're ready to live again. They're ready to become alive again. They're done waiting around. Somebody has manifested a new opportunity. They have. Somebody has manifested a new opportunity after a serious, painful ending. Okay? There's been a painful, painful completion here. Very painful. And I feel as though now we have this person that has manifested a new love. Okay, underneath that magician is the Knight of Cups. They've manifested this new opportunity for love. And it's like this, and he's holding a cup. It's like now there's love here. It's like now there's real love here. It's something that, you know, will give you the opportunity to start over. It's a little scary to start over. Whoever this person is dealing with, you know, this person is very attractive. They're very exuberant. They're very, um, a high vibration. And I think that this person is just like, you know, damn. Damn, this is this is too good to be true. I feel like we have a message that is going to come in. A message is going to come in from this person who has worked really, really hard to take back control of their lives, to uh, use those resources within them to shed this pain that they have been through. So I feel like we have a, a really strong, strong individual who has been through a very painful situation and they've they've come to a point of like perhaps forgiveness perhaps you know healing they're ready they've they've shed they've shed a lot they're ready to let go and they're ready to live again so I feel like we have somebody here that is has received a, a really good offer of love from somebody and they see the they see the other person's vibration they see the other person's exuberancy they see the 
you know, beauty in that person. And, you know, it's like... It's time. It's time to broaden my horizons and start over. So I feel like we have somebody to here that is in the process of making a heavy decision in regards to a partnership that is very attractive to them, okay? Um, in many ways, in many ways, many ways. It's a good match. It is a really good match. I feel like this is this this w w was what you wished for. It's like you wished for it. You know, you went, when you were going through all that pain, you know, you were wishing for love, you were, you were asking why this happened, you know, you were asking, you know, what's the meaning of this and how could this happen and this is why, this is why, you know, this is the answer to your prayers, like I said, this is, this is why, this is, this, everything happens for a reason, everything does happen for a reason. We can go back to that song again, but we're not going to, but everything does happen for a reason and I, I feel as though we have this new op new exciting opportunity that has shown up like out of the blue unexpectedly and now somebody is making a major major choice a major life choice in regards to you know starting over starting over so uh, there could be an apology coming in or something like that could be an apology could be an, uh, a solid offer or at the very beginning could be a little offer it could be a, something little you know um could be a date. I don't know what it is. This is a little offer coming in. Um, Knight of Wands reverse. I, you know, I really feel like this has been real, well, well, well thought out. Well thought out. There's been a delay of this offer coming because this person is so wise. We have a very wise individual here who has a lot of life experience behind their back. Because we have a warrior. Okay, this guy is a warrior. So I feel as though um, somebody is, is, is making a decision. Somebody is making a decision and they've been making the decision and I feel like they're about to take action, you know, in regards to love. This is, this, you know, change of direction, change of course. So this is good. Now this is a card of purpose as well. Now, this, the Wheel of Fortune is a card of purpose. It's also the cycle. One cycle has ended. A chapter of your life has ended, and now it's time to work on the next one. This is a, a change, a lucky break. So something good is coming. There was, this is like another, like I said, another card of purpose. Is everything happens for a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. I think somebody is realizing the purpose of this ending, the purpose of this you know, pain that they have endured. They gained wisdom through it. It, it built their character. It, it, it made them into a different person. It made them into the warrior that they are. So I really feel like we have somebody here that is about to change their direction. Probably, you know, it's a major change. It's a major life change. It's a major life decision. And I feel like somebody has ended a really difficult cycle in their life and they're about to embark on a, on a, on a new chapter that's going to bring them something really, really good. Because this is, this is the Wheel of Fortune. Fortune is good. It's bringing you something good. So, and, you know, when I see, whenever I see clocks, even though that's kind of like a zodiac, I believe, I think of the time is now. It is. This is, it's divine timing, okay? I think the time is now to, you know, take action. So I feel like we do have some here, buddy here that is about to take action and change the direction of life drastically. So, um, the devil taking back control. This is what, breaking free. The devil reversed. Okay, no longer letting Satan take over. This is you being in control. This is you taking back your life. This is cutting the strings with all that doesn't serve you and allowing the good things to come into your life. It's following your higher power. It's letting the higher power take control, not the devil. So you have somebody that is taking back control of their lives. It's like they've decided to cut the strings with Satan, you know. So anyhow, with their ego. So I really have, I really feel like we have somebody here that is, is changing their direction. They're taking back control and they're breaking free from their old life. You know, I really like this deck right here. 
So we're going to, no, I think we're going to go back to my other one. I've been using that one a lot. We're going to use this one this time. So yeah, somebody's about to take action and change their, change their direction. That's what I see. Life changing, life changing here. Somebody is making a decision to go after what they deserve. You know? It's destiny. This is destiny. This is the wheel of destiny. Destiny. This ending that happened was meant to happen. There was a purpose. There was a reason. Back to the song. You know the song. We don't need to, to keep talking about it. I've listened to it about 100 times. <laughs> so I'm done with it. I mean, I'm not done with it. It's over. It's played. I, I probably could sing it right now. Anyway. Um, in the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Not a hundred times, but well, too many, put it that way. In the flow. Everything is smooth sailing. Let go of the shore, enter the flow. You're moving into a period of gracious ease and flow. All is unfolding perfectly and with good timing. It, like I said, it, divine timing. It is the time, it's the time. Everything is falling into place because you aren't resisting the drift of the great river of life. Enjoy the ride. This isn't the time to try to control the events of your life. Let the creator support you. You don't have to do it all by yourself. The glory of the universe flows through you. It's not always easy to let go of the shore. However, this card is urging you to take a risk and let go. When you are truly in the flow, you don't need to push or exert effort to make things happen. You can flow around any obstacle. Is there a situation in your life that isn't falling into place? Let it go. It's not the right time. When you're in the state of flow, you aren't pushing the river to go faster and you aren't swimming against it. You just enjoy the ride. If you aren't feeling the smooth current of life, it might mean that you are trying to control a situation in your life. Maybe you're being too self-critical or judgmental. The way to move into flow is through gratitude and appreciation and by allowing others in spirit to support and help you. Mm, yeah. So yeah, that's what I have for the six. Somebody is changing their direction. They have been guided to do so. They are realizing that everything happens for a reason. And I feel like we have somebody here that is about to go after the wish fulfillment that they, that they deserve. I hope this reading is for you. Good luck.